Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Live at Five. My name is Stanley Philippe. I am a member of Carlton's recruitment team, and I'm also Carlton's page liaison. And so I'm very, very, very happy that you are tuned in to today's special parliamentary page program event, where we're going to tell you a bit more about the House of Commons page program why it's such an exciting work opportunity for first year students and why you're going to want to take advantage of it. You know, looking at this picture, it's featuring one of Carlton's former pages, Ben Hooker, who uh, was an amazing student. Uh, he worked in the house a few years back, uh, graduated from Carlton uh, last year uh, with a degree in public affairs and policy management, is now working with uh, his local MP. Uh, and so he's doing a really, a really awesome job of not only representing our school, but also using those opportunities he got working in the house to uh, propel him to an amazing career. So that could be, uh, this could be you, it could be your future, it could be you in that picture, and we're gonna hopefully get you uh, to the right place uh, very, very soon. Uh, before we get into the conversation about the PAGE program, I just want to remind you if this is your first time attending a Live at Five, uh, we have an awesome live event Q&A that we want you to utilize. So if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, uh, things you want to share, you can utilize our live and Q&A. We have members of our team that are here to answer your questions, and we're also going to hopefully answer some of your page-related questions um, live during the event. So please utilize that function uh, to ask away. Now, when you uh, attend a presentation at Carleton, you'll always see uh, this amazing uh, acknowledgement. So Carleton University acknowledges the location of its campus on the traditional unceded territories of the Algonquin Nation. And we do this for a couple of reasons. One, to again, acknowledge where we are, where Carleton's campus is physically located, but to also connect our past, our present, and our future. And knowing your history and knowing where you're going to go will make your present much more kind of complete. And so we really want to take that moment to acknowledge that we are in fact on uh, the unceded territories of the Algonquin Nation. Now, um, there have been a lot of really cool things happening at Carleton virtually over the last couple of years. We have our awesome guided virtual campus tours that you're able to take part in. Uh, and so if you want to learn about Carleton's uh, beautiful campus and all the really cool kind of history and, and uniqueness that you'll find on, in our buildings, uh, you can do that from the comfort of your own home just by going on to our tour website and booking your virtual guided campus tour. We are also offering in-person tours now. So if you want to come down and visit our campus in person, you can book your in-person tour. Now spots are limited. And of course, we are following all of public health's guidelines with regards to having visitors on campus. And so you'll want to uh, make sure you follow those steps if you do want to visit our campus. Now, the person in the middle of that picture uh, is, is me. Uh, I feel kind of shameless like putting this up, um, but I do have to promote our new podcast. It's called the Talking Raven Podcast. It's been a joy, a real pleasure to uh, produce this podcast and uh, give you a different look into what makes Carleton University such a really special place. And if you're interested in the PAGE program, you're gonna to wanna to tune into an upcoming episode that's gonna be released uh, next week. It's so not this week, but next week, where we're gonna to talk to Hannah, who is a second year student at Carleton, but was also a member of the PAGE program last year. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that episode. Really, don't miss any episodes, like re-listen to everything we've posted so far this year. Again, a lot of really cool, exciting content. And after tonight's session, if you are starting to really kind of develop some ideas, some questions, some thoughts related to the PAGE program, you can book a coffee break with me. So we can sit down, have a deeper conversation about what this opportunity is, how we can connect to your degree, and uh, other ways for us to guide you throughout your application process. So please take advantage of our future Raven coffee breaks. It's a great way for us to meet virtually and to chat one on one. Okay. Now that I've got that out of the way, it's time for us to have our, our featured conversation uh, about the House of Commons page program. And I'm very happy to welcome uh, to, uh, to today's Live at Five, uh, Sahib, who is a page supervisor and was also uh, a page uh, in 2018, 2019. So the next person you're gonna see on screen is Sahib and you'll see her on screen hopefully now. 
Hello, that's, everyone. Hope you're doing well. That's some, that's some good timing, right? Like I said now, and boom, there you were. Um, how are you doing, <laughs> Sahib? I'm doing very well. How are you doing, Stanley? I'm doing great. For those folks who aren't in the city of Ottawa right now, it is a beautiful day in the nation's capital, and it's always a beautiful time when we get a chance to talk about this amazing, unique program. So, uh, Sahib, let's get right into it. First, Tell us, in your words, what is the House of Commons PAGE program? The House of Commons PAGE program is actually quite simple to describe. It's quite a unique and extraordinary program, unlike anyone I've heard before. So basically, the PAGE program is made up of 40 pages who are first year university students studying in one of the national uh, and studying in one of the educational institutions here in the national region um, and pages are first year university students pursuing an undergraduate degree. The cool thing about this program is that pages come from all across the country. So we have pages from the territories, pages from BC and all the way to the East Coast. So we have a large diversity of skill sets, regions and also ethnic backgrounds. It's a great program for people who are looking to um, invest themselves in the Canadian political system or learn more about it. It's hands on experience and also you get to be part of the traditions of the House of Commons as well. Yeah, it's it, it is such a, a really awesome opportunity. Now let's go into the kind of the nitty gritty of the job itself, because at the end of the day, um, it, it is a job. Um, so uh, maybe you can talk a bit about um, what that entails. Like, What are the responsibilities that are linked to being a, a page in the House of Commons. Absolutely. So because the PAGE program is so unique, um, there are quite some cool opportunities available. So PAGE's tasks consist of a wide variety of duties. So the first and foremost, um, when the House is sitting, PAGE's get to be on the floor. So what that means is when the House is in session, when question period is going on, when routine proceedings are going on, Pages get to see it all and they get to see it from a front row seat. So pages actually sit right in front of the speakers and prior to COVID-19 and physical distancing, there were a lot of pages that worked in the House of Commons at one point. Um, so we had about 10 pages and they took various different roles, but essentially their role consists of um, being a liaison between the speaker and the members of parliament. So they were kind of a communication, li um, communication link. Now, pages are one of the very few people that get to be on the floor of the House of Commons. So aside from members of parliament, aside from table officers, and aside from the sergeant in arms, uh, pages are the only people that could be on the House of Commons. So what that means is, in a way, they are the connection link between the outside world of the House of Commons um, to the inside world. So they deliver messages, they deliver responses, and sometimes this is a quite an interesting dynamic because when things are getting heated in the House of Commons, pages deliver notes, uh, they deliver messages, and it really contributes to the smooth functioning of the chamber and its operations. Yeah, it's like it's like organized chaos sometimes. They eh? like working in the house, and you know there are debates that are happening, and people are you know really putting our democracy uh, in action, and then being able to see that is super unique. Now, if I'm a student that's in high school right now or listening to this session, and I'm super excited about becoming a page, um, what do I need to do? How do I become eligible for the program? And maybe walk through some of the changes. I know there have been some changes to the application process. Maybe you can walk through some of the pro the changes you made. I mean, not you specifically, but your the team has made uh, to make the uh, the program itself more inclusive and more accessible too. Absolutely. So the PAGE program um, is a program that's meant for students who are pursuing a, their educational degree, so their undergraduate degree. Um, so with that regard, in order to be eligible, you either have to be a full time or a part time student at one of the financial institutions here in did I just say financial? I meant education institutions here. I, I'm an economic student, so, you know, that always goes, um, that always comes <laughs> in mind. But one thing I could say about this program is not related to the eligibility criteria. This program is for anyone, regardless of their educational background. For example, you could be 
um, studying engineering or you could be into architecture, you could be studying interior designing and there's something here for you. Um, a lot of the debates are diverse, so they relate to any discipline, any background. And also, you will get to learn about Parliament and its proceedings. But anyway, going back to eligibility, so uh, you need to be bilingual, uh, both French and English, being able to communicate because you're going to be communicating with members of Parliament. Um, you need to be living in the national capital region during your one year program. Um, and further, you need to be studying at Carleton is a great example of where you should be studying or um, <laughs> another educational uh, institute here in Ottawa. Um, aside from that, the PAGE program is essentially looking for ambitious individuals who have a diverse skill set and are looking to contribute to the workings of parliament. And if that's you, I recommend you apply. And you know what? The application period is open until November 7th. So it's a perfect opportunity and a perfect time as well. Yeah, it, it, a couple of things you mentioned there. One is uh, the program element. A lot of students will think, well, I need to be in a uh, politically kind of driven program. But it's funny, a couple of years ago, we had an architecture student uh, participate and work in the house um, as a page. So you're right, like there is such a, a universal application to this um, opportunity. Um, and then the other thing that that I, I just wanted kind of to, to mention is, is yeah, like uh, you can definitely attend any of the different post-secondary institutions uh, in a nation's capital. And, and as a page liaison, it's been a, a pleasure, a, a joy uh, to work alongside our pages and to really try to help support them. And and that brings me into the uh, the idea of the school work-life balance and and that dynamic and how it plays out if a student is a page. Uh, what, what can you say from your experience? You know, how was it to, uh, how was it like for you to try to balance, you know, being uh, in the house and maybe working some shifts that were longer than you expected while still, you know, maintaining uh, a good academic average and still being able to connect to, to your degree program too? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, in this program, you will be a part time employee at the House of Commons and essentially you would work around 15 hours per week um, here in the chamber. And along with that, you would be either a part time or a full time student. Sometimes the workload and the school load kind of gets a little heavy. But the great thing about the PAGE program and something that makes it so special and extraordinary is that um, there are support systems set up for you. So for example, Stanley is a great example of one. So um, we have individuals who are there to help you, who are there to guide you and basically help you balance both the work and the academic load. With that being said, um, it is a great opportunity. And one of the things that makes this program so special is that there's something called uh, a page class, um, which I believe we would continue. Um, so essentially pages get to be in a class together. And this class is about parliament uh, about Canadian democracy and also the Canadian political system. So 40 pages um, right now it's virtual, of course, but they get, essentially get to be in a class together and talk about what they see and link it back to the theoretical perspective. So that's another cool component about it. Um, yeah, and Honestly, the workload um, and the academic load isn't too crazy. It is uh, able, you are able to balance it quite well. And again, there are great uh, support systems, whether that's um, uh, university liaison officers or whether it's the page supervisors or 39 other individuals who are in the same boat as you. And you could always uh, resort, uh, network back to them and kind of talk about different ways and strategies that you're using. Yeah, and and, and yeah, there the support networks are important. And though, even if you don't do the page program, you definitely want to take advantage of the support networks. But when you do participate in something unique like this, it, it just gets amplified because then, like you said, like you know, there are forty students in Canada that are going to have this one unique experience next year. And if you want to be one of the forty, uh, this is the place to, to do it. Now, um, there's a comment and a question that I want to read uh, to you, Sahib. So first, the comment is, uh, "Thank you so much for doing the session. You're welcome." Uh, the student wants to go to Carleton and they want to do the page program and we also want you to do both things and then the other the question is what was your favorite part about being a page so maybe you can go back to 2018 2019 uh, let us know what was it like for you as a page and what really stood out 
Wow, um, I love questions like this. When I think about my year, and a lot of pages will have the exact same reaction, we kind of just get goosebumps. My favorite part was um, even December, even in January, even in May uh, during the voting marathons, um, you know, sometimes 3 a.m. in the morning when there were voting, uh, when there was voting going on, I would kind of just take a moment and look at my surroundings. And it was so real to think that, hey, where I work is actually the House of Commons. So that was probably my best part, my favorite part, and something that has stuck around with me for three years now. Um, another cool thing was it's always so cool um, when people that you know, your family, your friends, peers, um, they talk about how they saw you on TV. And it's kind of interesting because even though you're not speaking, you're supposed to kind of be someone who doesn't draw attention to them, uh, to yourselves. You are there, you're in the screen, uh, you're helping, uh, you know, helping with the democratic system. And it's amazing. Uh, so that those two things would be my favorite part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, watching um, uh, President Obama uh, speaking in the House, and then there were a few pages who were lucky enough to get one of those, that well, that shift and we're able to be in that kind of in the room where it happened to quote um, Hamilton. And uh, and it was it was super awesome to see that uh, because it's it's again, it's unique, it's historical and it's something that will stick with you uh, forever. Now, one of the elements of the application uh, is uh, the language uh, skills. And um, sometimes with our, our applicants, you know, they do ask questions about, well, how bilingual do we need to be and, and so on. So maybe you can talk a bit more about um, the language component uh, of this, uh, this job. Yeah, for sure. So the language component will be a component that will be tested during the application process. So after that, your application is submitted, uh, there will be a follow up of a second language evaluation, which consists of basically testing your speaking abilities, your communicating abilities and your second official language. Uh, now, you do need to be bilingual in the aspect you need to be able to communicate fluently with members of parliament, table officers, in order to successfully conduct your role as a page. But with that being said, this is a place where you are encouraged to grow professionally and personally. So you're encouraged to speak your second language and grow and develop those skills. So even if you're unsure about how uh, how in how amazing your second language uh, skills are, I would urge you to apply. And, uh, you know, I initially thought I wasn't going to get in because I'm from BC and my second language skills aren't amazing. But after you do the test, you'll be surprised to know that you are quite bilingual and that's all that matters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, and I always tell students like, you know, listen to like French media if, if, if French is your your second language and, and maybe what we'll do next or this year is a special like talking Raven podcast in French that you can listen to over and over again to kind of have like the French language in the back of your mind. So that's a, a good idea I might, I might actually uh, execute in a few weeks. Um, a couple of questions here uh, in the chat and thank you all for, for tuning in for asking your questions. Um, the question is um, roughly how many people apply to the PAGE program? So how competitive does it get uh, uh, when students are looking for this opportunity? Um, I'm not uh, sure about the stat statistical number, but I can say this because this program is so unique in its nature and quite something that is well promoted. Um, I would assume that there would be a large amount of applicants. But with that being said, this program is catered for the top, well, not the top 40, but the 40 individuals that have that desire, have that ambition to work here. So um, if you have that fire in you, apply and, you know, you'd be surprised to see where it goes. Um, and this is an opportunity that is that comes around every year but it only comes around for individuals that are going in the first year. So uh, I'm not sure how many people apply, but I would urge you to apply because the fact that you're here and you're listening to our um, conversation means that you would like to uh, contribute to the PAGE program. And I think you would make a great PAGE. 
That's a, I think that's an amazing answer. Uh, and then the other question was about, um, again, the, the job itself and, and doubling back on our conversation about uh, what students do as a page. And so maybe you can give us like a description of like a, a day in the life of a page, you know, so they, they arrive at, at uh, Parliament Hill. What happens from there? For sure. So um, it depends whether the house is setting or not. So I'll just give an example of what today looked like for some pages that we had who uh, came to work and basically performed their role as a page. So even though the house isn't sitting, pages have a roles and they have duties. So some of them work in the clerk's office to help with the clerk, clerk's jobs. Some work in the speaker's office. Others perform more of a ceremonial duty. So today we had pages come in. They firstly got into their uniform, which is uh, designed for you. And the, I see the picture there. Uh, so that's essentially what the page uniform looks like. So you get dressed in that and then you're off and you walk around the House of Commons and West Block and everyone knows you're a page because of that distinct distinction. And then, um, so what pages did today was they assisted in swearing in ceremonies. So uh, as you know, we had an election. So we have 338 members of parliament that need to be sworn in. So pages have essentially been helping with that process. So they've been helping guide, pay, um, guide former MPs and new MPs in the in the parliament buildings and basically showing them around and helping them being sworn in. So that's something that's been happening today. But when the House sits, their role basically consists of helping members with their tasks. So uh, delivering messages, delivering documents, and basically being the connection piece between the inside of the chamber and the outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, you know, I, there was a question here about um, when they should apply. So um, so the students should be applying in their last year of high school, correct? Right. So you could either be applying if you're graduating this year and you're going into your first uh, year in your undergraduate studies, or you could also apply if you've taken a gap year, but you're also now applying to your educational post-secondary education. So for example, if someone took a gap year and they're now ready, ready to go back to school, they can also apply. So either two of those options work, but essentially you need to be a first year undergraduate student. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you for uh, for clarifying that. Uh, and I, I had a, another kind of a, a question that, that I wanted to ask and it's, and it's slipping my mind right now. So. Um, Let's go back to you. Oh, here it is. Here's the question I want to ask. Okay, I found it. Um, your title, you you are a page supervisor. So maybe you can describe your role a little bit and then maybe talk about like how frequent it is for former pages to end up working, you know, either in the house or working on the hill after their year um, as, a, as a page. One thing I can't say for sure is once you're in the house and once you work, on Parliament Hill, there's something about it and a lot of people don't want to leave. <laughs> so um, a lot of former pages have taken up other roles. So some of them have gone into the journals branch. Some of them are uh, have gone into Hansard, which is basically transcribing what happens in the House of Commons. Others have taken more political roles. So one thing I would like to say is the page program is nonpartisan. So we assist all members of Parliament without any political affiliations and and that's integral to the program itself. But um, so former pages have gone to associate themselves with political parties. Um, we actually had two um, former pages that are now MPs, which is really cool. So oh. um, yeah, that also happens. I would say it happened now. Um, and then we have pages that uh, take more research roles as well. So there's a, a large variety of what uh, pages end up doing. So we have pages that go to law school. We have pages that work for uh, political members. We have pages that run for office. So a lot of variety there. Um, so I was a page back in 2018 and 2019, and then I applied to become a page supervisor. Now, this is actually my first year. So the way the program is um, constructed is that there's full-time page supervisors and part-time page supervisors. Now, what's really cool is that the part-time page supervisors were actually former pages. So I work with two incredible colleagues of mine, um, Keelan and Mito, and they were also pages um, the year before mine. 
uh, my year. So all three of us have experience of being a page and seeing what that looks like. Um, and my role basically consists of helping pages adapt in their role and helping them conduct their tasks um, and helping them with anything else. So if you have any um, help, you need any help balancing your academic and your workload, the page supervisors are there to help you and assist you in that process as well. Awesome, that's really great. Now, there's a, a question here, uh, well, a comment and a question. So a student who's in grade 12 and they're looking forward to this unique opportunity. So I'm glad you are um, excited about it. Um, they're wondering um, when should they expect to uh, either get the job offer or, or not get the job offers. Maybe talk a little bit more about the, uh, the timeline itself. So the application process uh, opened September 27th, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. September 27th and it closes on November 7th. So you have a couple of weeks to apply. Now, what happens after that uh, um, application period itself closes is that there's second evaluation, second language evaluation. I think they occur in December. After that, uh, there are formal interviews that are conducted. Um, and then after the interviews, there are reference checks. The reference checks, I believe, happen in February. Um, and then after that, um, new pages are called up and we communicate with the with the successful applicants that have reached out to that stage. So uh, applicants who have made it to the interview stage will get formal letters um, saying that they either got the job or didn't get the job. So we are uh, we communicate that with them. Uh, but the process um, occurs from November all the way to March. So uh, I think applicants could plan to hear back either in late late April or early May and because the uh, application progress is quite rigorous because we do want to choose the 40 most qualified and the 40 most driven individuals. Awesome. Yeah. So so again, definitely get your application in uh, by November 7th and then um, hopefully by spring um, you'll hear some some really great news. Um, Sahib, I think we'll leave it at that. I, I want to thank you so much for uh, for uh, answering so many questions and for sharing the page experience that you had and also getting everyone excited for uh, what they're going to experience. And, and I think you're going to stick around if there are any more questions, correct? I can. I can definitely cool. stick around. OK, awesome. Yeah, so so if you have any other questions you want to ask uh, Sahib, um, she'll stick around for a few more minutes. So please put those questions in the, uh, the Q&A. Um, oh, so much fun to talk about the page program. I absolutely uh, love, love, love this uh, this opportunity uh, to to share uh, this experience. You know, again, being a page liaison at Carlton for the last few years has been uh, a real treat, and and you know, we get some unique students that that participate in this opportunity. So hopefully, you will take uh, that mantle and you will take that opportunity uh, to apply, and also take the opportunity to continue our conversations. And a lot of those conversations are happening through our 360 account, 360.carlton.ca. You can get your hands on one of our brand new view books by going onto that site, creating your accounts and requesting that we mail you a view book. You can also uh, register for some of our awesome events that are happening, including our virtual fall open house happening Saturday, November 6th. I will be there virtually, of course. And so if you want to talk more about the page program at that point, uh, I'll be there more than happy to have the conversation. I'll also post by email in the uh, chat so that way you can hear or let me know if you have any questions. And there's a, a cool question here that says, um, Stanley, what's your role? So yeah, so as page liaison, I am like the go-to person for everything Carlton page related. So uh, I get a chance to uh, really help uh, our pages get uh, register for their courses, make sure they're moving to residence schools well, kind of the technical side of things. And then I'm, you know, a supportive person. So I try to really help guide our first year students who are participating in the PAGE program, um, help make sure they're transitioned from high school to university and within university and the PAGE program goes as smoothly as possible. And and again, I, I just am just so, so lucky to be able to interact with students who are participating in this opportunity because I, I truly believe like it attracts future leaders and people who are going to be decision makers and 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 changers in, in this world. And so if you have that kind of uh, desire to have a real lasting impact 
uh, I really, really encourage you to uh, to look into this uh, amazing opportunity and to again uh, email me. I'm putting the email in the uh, the chat right now if you want to continue having um, some conversations about this unique program. Okay. The last thing I'm going to mention is uh, stay connected with us. Uh, we are on social media. Um, we're at Carlton underscore future on Instagram, on Twitter, and we've got a TikTok account coming soon. So give that a follow at Carlton underscore future as well. Uh, our website is emissions.carlton.ca slash parliamentary work opportunities. There are other opportunities that are available uh, on Parliament Hill, including the Senate page program too. So we can definitely have a conversation about that. And uh, 360.carlton.ca, I can't say it enough. Please make sure you set up your uh, accounts. Okay, that was another awesome live at five. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure you tune in every single Wednesday 5 p.m. Eastern time. Next week, we're going to be talking housing um, at Carlson's, Carlton, so definitely give that a look. And if any of your friends, your family, your casual friends, your acquaintances missed on today's session, um, we will be posting this um, recording uh, on our website so you can let them know that they can check it out. But make sure they watch it before November 7th. They don't want to miss that application deadline. All right. Enough from me. Uh, we'll stick around in the chat to answer any of your additional questions. Have a really great night. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll hopefully see you on the Hill next year. Take care.